Hey, good afternoon, guys. So, I am already messing up my whole vlogmas. <laughs> I skipped... I forgot a vlog on the... I wrote it down because I'm, like, so confused and stuff. So, I missed a day seven. I was supposed to have filmed it on the 6th. Um, I forgot to vlog on that day, on the 6th, which was Tuesday. Was it Tuesday? I, I had rehearsal that day. And, guys... Okay, let me just tell you guys, since you guys missed... I, I, I didn't vlog that day. I completely forgot, so that was my fault. So, um, on December 6th, which was Tuesday, I had to go to play rehearsal. And it was our very first dress rehearsal. And since I had missed practice on Monday, which is the day I was sick, so I went to rehearsal and then... My friend who is a director, she gave me all the cues and like I went over all the light cues and all that stuff. I was backstage the whole entire time and it was really dark back there so I could not have filmed my, my you know, the dress rehearsal. It was so hectic. One of my personal favorite characters in the play, in one of the scenes, she needed a coat. But I did not know that the art costume designer for the play, she didn't have a coat for her and I didn't know that. And then during their scene, um, one of the other characters comes backstage and she asks me, oh, is she, like, where's her coat? And I was like, oh, what coat? And then she's like, her, um, Martha is the character's name, Martha's coat. And I was like, she has a coat? And she was like, yeah, she has a coat. Where's the coat? And I was like, I don't know where the coat is. But then she's like, oh, my gosh. And then I was wearing a sweater. So she's like, can I use that? And I was like, yeah. So I like hurry up and take off my jacket, give it to her. She runs on stage with my jacket and puts it on Martha, which is the other character who needed a coat, which we didn't even know she needed a coat for that scene because our costume designer didn't, she didn't tell me or at least she didn't let me know that she was going to need a coat. So I don't know. That was really weird, but I've already been talking for like eight minutes. Oh, oh, okay, okay, okay. I have a really good story. Um, well, it's not like really a story, but kind of, it is kind of. Um, I got scammed by somebody. Well, I don't really know if I would like call it a scam. I don't know what else to call it, but I'm just calling it a scam. It happened on November 13th. So it was like a long time ago, but I barely like realized it because I'm so dumb. Anyways, I there was a potential buyer who messaged me on this messaging app. Well, at least I got it on there. And then I um, send them like this thing to where they can use it because... I, they were not using the app. I don't know how to explain it. But anyways, so they were like, oh, I can't message you on the app. Um, I'm on a laptop. And then I was like, okay, that's fine. And they were a, a potential buyer for one of my puppies, which I still have her. They were asking about Rosie. Um, we were talking about the puppy and all this stuff. And the person sounded legit. Like she was asking me the right questions and everything. So I actually believed, you know, um, this is like for real like she really wants my puppy and she even said I'm really intent on buying a puppy from you and I'm not gonna leave you know I'm not gonna stop talking until I get one and I was like okay that's fine but then she started asking me about my dog's pedigree and all this stuff I told her I don't have my dog's pedigree and then she asked me didn't the AKC the American Kennel Club um, send you the pedigree for your dogs and I was like no they didn't um I know you have to pay extra to get your pedigree from the AKC um I read it online and all that stuff and then for some like I'm so dumb like I guess I, I just wanted to prove to her that I do have like registration over my dogs and stuff I sent her a picture of chocolate's registration number and Ira's registration number and then I even sent her a picture of my the number that I got I received from AKC, which is the litter registration number, because I had registered the litter um, on AKC, and they had sent me their registration number as a litter. And I sent her that picture, and then of you know of the number, and then she's like, okay, whatever, whatever. And then she's like, what's Rosie's AKC number? And I told her she doesn't have one, because when I get a buyer and somebody buys her then I give them the form and they have to fill it out and I have to sign in all this stuff and then they have to mail it to AKC that way they can receive their registration number for their dog 
um, certificate thing in the mail. And then she was like, oh, okay, blah, blah, blah. And then she's like, I still want to see the pedigree. And I'm like, I send you the registration number pictures, but I don't have a pedigree. And I've been telling her that for like the past, I don't know how many minutes. And then she's like, oh, okay. And she's like, I just want to know what to register um, Rosie under. Like, what um, color is she? And I'm like, I told her the color she was. And she's like, yeah, but I still don't know if she's a, um, a piebald or should I just register her as a dapple and I'm like I would consider her a piebald because she has a white um marking on her chest and I told her that and then after that message like like I had just gave her my opinion about like what to register her under and then she blocked me and I could no longer send her any more messages or anything like that and then um not yesterday the day before yesterday or no wait the night that I was sick I got on um one of the dog group things that I'm on and I somebody had posted something about oh be careful because there's people who like will scam you and all this stuff um about like selling dogs or people trying to buy dogs and then people were like posting um like their experiences of when they got scammed and then like that kind of popped into my head because I was like she blocked me for no reason and I don't know and then I remembered oh my gosh I sent her the registration numbers and so like I posted my experience with the story that I just shared right now and then um this lady was like oh no you better contact the AKC and call them up because she if she has your registration litter number from the litter she can always just go and like try to register dogs that she doesn't even have and make it and then scam people trying to buy dogs and be saying oh look i have their number and then she could even like post like she could have saved my pictures from my dogs and then posted them and then people would have fallen for it and been like oh can i buy this dog she'd been like yes and she'd just be getting money and then she doesn't actually have a dog I don't even know if this makes sense, but anyways, that's what she told me, and then I was like, oh my gosh, I need to contact AKC, so I emailed AKC, and then they told me that there has been no transactions made with using my number from the from the litter registration, so I was like, okay, and then they were like, and there are no puppies registered, and I was like, what are you talking about? Like, I did register them, I even got the package in the mail from AKC giving me the five forms, because I registered the puppies and I even got a receipt. I even paid for the registration online to register them. So I was kind of like, what is going on? And then they were like, oh, you need... So I emailed them that. Like, I did everything. And then AKC emailed me back yesterday. And they told me, oh, we meant that the puppy needs to be... Their form needs to be turned into the AKC. That way you can have the registration number for them individual, pu for like each individual puppy. So I was like, oh, okay, I get it. I haven't done that yet. So they're like, yeah. And then they were like, we have two boys and three girls listed under your puppies. And then I was like, and they're like, is that correct? And then I was like, yes, that's correct. And then they told me that there was no transactions made like of anybody else using my number. So that's really good. That means that person, which was a girl, but then I... The one that blocked me and like did all that stuff and I gave my numbers to, which I shouldn't have. Um, yeah, so she didn't use my number and did anything bad with it, but she could have. And I don't know. I learned my lesson. I'm not going to do that again, ever again. I'm not going to give anybody else my numbers for my dogs because it's kind of like their social security, I think. But I'm not, I'm not too sure. I could be wrong. But I think that's what the registration number is. But, yeah. It's not really a scam story. It's just that... I don't know what else to call it. She kind of fooled me. But I don't even know if it was a girl. Supposedly it was a girl and then told me, Oh, this... I'm just helping my sister look for a dog. Which I should have knew right off the bat. That was, like, a warning. Like, you're helping your sister look for a dog. Why can't she just do it herself? Or why can she contact me through using your laptop or whatever? But she didn't. So that was already a bad sign. And then I don't even know if it was a girl. Because she, well, she told me it was, she was a girl, you know, whatever. But it could have been a guy pretending to be a girl. And then the name that she was using was kind of weird. 
It was like, it sounded like a made up name. Like, and then she had no profile picture or anything. So that was another bad sign. And she blocked me right after she had gone the, well, I gave her the number and then we continued the conversation for a little bit and then she blocked me out of nowhere. So that was another bad sign. And then I can't, I can't see her anymore, like at all. So it's like, she doesn't even exist. Searched the name that I remember her having, the fake name that I said. So I searched it. And then now she has a profile picture, but it's of an actress. So I know it's somebody who's just using that profile to be, you know, doing bad stuff. And they're just fake. So, yeah, I I can't believe I fell for that. I'm so dumb. But, yeah, I'm, luckily nothing happened. Nothing bad happened. Um, she didn't use the number or anything like that to register any dogs or anything like that. So that's good. Um, but the bad thing is that I did send her, like, pictures of Ira, Chocolate, and the puppy because she wanted to see pictures of them. And I did it because I thought that she was going to buy, you know, the puppy. But I'm so glad she didn't buy her. And I'm so glad I didn't sell her to her. But she could have saved their images and then just used them for her own. Like, saying, oh, these are my dogs. Or I'm selling these dogs. Which, in reality, she doesn't have them. But yeah, I can't believe. So if she's doing that, I can't believe she's using my dog pictures to fool other people. Or she could just be getting off other dog images and then saying that she has them when she actually doesn't. And just to get money. It's so dumb. I don't know. It was just weird. I gotta end the vlog here. This is gonna be a really long vlog. I think I'm just gonna combine the days. So I'm gonna combine day six, seven. No, wait, not six. Wait day seven eight and nine i'm gonna combine them three into this long vlog because i it would take a long time for me to just start vlogging seven individually and then eight and then nine and then just yeah i don't know i'm so sorry guys i'm so confused i'm so boring um i really don't know what else to say i'm gonna end it right here um i will be back on schedule starting tomorrow, which tomorrow I'm going to be filming 10. So I should be back on track tomorrow. And hopefully I don't miss any other days. But if I do, guys, I'm so sorry if I miss other days. You know, sometimes it's too boring to, like, vlog and I might just skip that day. Or sometimes I might forget or something like that. So I might be skipping some days here and there. But I, I'm going to try not to do it as much. Um, but it's hard to do daily vlogging. Um, so yeah, I'm going to edit this and then upload it today. So yeah, guys. This is going to be day Vlogmas Day 7, 8, and 9. So I hope you guys enjoyed my little story time. And yeah. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye, guys.